see what they're gonna do here. If it's gonna be a safe lane OD and a top a Legion Commander and mid. I also think they could dual lane the Legion Commander and uh, Coddle. A very strong combination that can put a lot of pressure on many different things. So, interesting association, I guess. Very similar to all. They get stun cancelled out. Oh, they've got the avalanche and the snowball land. I'm in all sorts of trouble. There's the left into the astral as well. The body blocks from Paparazzi. Looks like it's going to be enough to keep Lanham alive. Good damage still. They're getting them low, and both of them have regen. Both of them have TP cooldown now. So one thing that gets mid lane with Rubik. And now they're on the tower farm. Yeah, they're super aggressive. They do have a kill here. Too bad. They don't have much mana. They want one more kill, but not gonna be able to get it. They should just take both the bounty runes and be happy. Horribly lost. OZ is struggling, that's for sure, but he's still getting CS. Cottle's getting a bunch of stack. Yeah, that's Medium a big thing. All big. So then you can have a large camp, but Lanham dies top lane. We do catch the tail end of that. Looks like a quick snowball in with both DJ and Universe. Is this this safe lane? I mean, is. Not safe at all. Bill. No. First Spirit Siphon. They need to deal some damage first before going on to this. But I don't know if it's enough. Look at that HP region with the Tangle. 22.3. He's just regening so fast. Oh. Gets the kill. <laughs> top. That's the downside, I guess. As soon as you leave, there's nothing stopping them from just killing the OD. Yeah, they know that Lanham is missing. They know he's not top lane. He's not farming, not showing. Abed in a very good position in, ge in general here as well. Don't go too far out, but otherwise... Oh, he might across the line. There's the lift back, Abed. Quite tanky, though. But he does, he does go down in the way. Even with the one charge, is that level two Crip Swarm. He's in and finishes the job. Down at bottom, though, Eternal Envy. No stuns really here to catch him, so with his boots up. Out of the nukes, basically. Oh, top lane, they're going in again. Paparazzi, Sun Strike oh, in on top of his head. And Abed says, thank you very much. Abed on point with the Sun Strike, and that's going to help him out on mid lane. He just died, but, you know, he's going to get some recovery gold. No bottom. Chasing after Pilot die here. No they, grave. Yeah, no grave, no TP, so. Now he does. Oh, he, he's oh, oh. he killed the creep, got the grave, <laughs> staying alive for a little while longer oh, until that. the retaliation proc just waters him. Moment of courage, lane and start pushing to be honest. But they have a ward spotting highlight eye, who's being very careful. That's not just TV, out of but... range. So there she goes, runs in. Head. No creeps under tower yet, though. It's a little bit awkward. Well, Envy has shown himself, but fortunately for him, Lanau has run the other way. He He's tangling, he's eating, he's cutting. Could have gone for oh, a TP. That was a sun strike with the meta. Not enough. God. Uh, Envy could easily have TP'd there, but decides to stand his ground and try and fight. I, I'm not sure what he's doing. He just decides to Fenrir here. No free farming jungle caudal for me thing. And, uh, oh, Fenrir duking out a little bit, but still not enough to survive that. Like Fenrir outplayed every single spell. And me on, on bottom getting still lifted. Do anything. Yeah, the grave right. is there, but he has no TP as he had to TP back on the lane after dying. And he's not near level 6. The one try is keeping alive a little bit longer. They're going in for Eventually it. he's going to pop here. The Sun Strike will not a little bit off the mark. But DJ is trapped with 11 in with the shards now. It's almost needed from Ori as the Avalanche Falling. Universe doesn't connect. 11, <laughs> can he cut through the trees a little bit more as he's been spotted now. Trying to turn back and do a bit of damage to DJ. Yeah, but Fnatic responding really nicely. That forced the reaction at least from the Tiny as well to keep no boots on the Invoker, meaning it could be hard for him to run away. He has to end this dust? and no dust available. He gets the go for it, he's safe. How fast are you, Abed? I know you're quick, but oh, he is super quick. He gone. The immediate response is like, oh, a pixel of color has appeared on my map or my screen. The Batman are here, I must go invis. They're coming for me. <laughs> I shall leave. DP bottom, universe starts things off. Avalanche tossed back the DP's port with a snowball forward and a snowball to land. Money for oh. Ahmed, not going to be coming, but he gets the experience regardless. Honestly, not too far away from her actually surviving there with the start of the spirit siphon, healing her up. Not quite enough. Lane, defensive play here from DJ, turned into an aggressive one by Abed, but Sunstrike oh unfortunately not going to work because of the shards, but DJ has... He has no Venom though on uh, Tusk. Oh, out. Yeah, he quite easily runs out. I'm a little bit surprised by the lack of Orb of Venom on a Tusk. Normally, we always see that. I don't know. Pretty sure.
The backstab oh, though, Lanamadori. He should have. He's hit Yang, but Young Eleven dies fine. bottom with a sun strike and a help of the universe. But it looks like Eternal Lamb is gonna get a sun drop onto Lanam. Now the reflection comes out as well. Ori tries the spirit siphon, but Vichy Gaming got to get out of here. This is dangerous territory. The shards are they gonna fly and catch? Oh, they, they catch. Got they kill. Not just trapping, but destroying Lanam. Surprise by that damage. That looked way strong. Level four. Here we go. Double. Two man snowball in on top. Sun Strike will land this time as well with the help of the toss and the punch. And he dies He's in just flying up and down with a <laughs> just punch and a toss. Oh, there, his body's landing, his body's landing, and he's got. Wow, he was pretty high up. <laughs> Plummets to the floor. Oh, we see Steam was super late, Steam. Oh, Ori. Oh, dearie me. Universe, you're going to get another one here. That's a nice amount of Arcane Orbs flying through from Paparazzi, but there's Duel. Universe still not dead. The Shards keep them at bay, but the Sanity's Eclipse. Paparazzi clears up Universe at least. But that's Exorcism wasted. Ori died immediately after using it. Yeah, that was a, a great combination, and they're really good at using these. Want to fight 4v4. Mid lane Invoker can offer the Sun Strikes, but Legion Commander. As a TP scroll, we'll need to start moving a yeah. little bit faster. Just wants to kill that one more creep wave, but might be a little bit too late. And joining the fight, Tiny leads. Immediately dismisses the Rubik, but a lot of damage coming out of Paparazzi now. The Snowball save back down to the creep wave. This universe is looking to try and flick away, but the duel comes in from 11. The damage from Paparazzi wow. will be enough to secure it as DJ. Left alone to his own devices. Even Whoa. that short duration duel is gonna yeah. be enough to uh, finish it. No TP score on the Tusk, so this is a journey to hell, I believe. You're not gonna get out of this one alive. Uh, just toying with him a bit. Fenrir is like, push him here, push him there. He's starting to oh, he's giving the kill. Giving the kill over to his friend. Almost went down to that Sunstrike. He would have died yeah. if he got hit. Or 12. Want to take a fight. Everyone is losing their armor. Level 2 exorcism on Ori and a quick blink away from Young 11. I'm on this side. Colonel Envy doesn't want to get involved. He's got Battle Fury. I believe the tier 1. But exorcism still being up means that now Vichy Gaming have options, right? Tier 1 mid. Roshan potentially. Look for a pick off soon and then go for this point booster during the smoke. A little bit closer. Kind of died yet. Oh, they see them? Yeah. Smoke pops, DJ right place, right time. Very Notices nice. Coming in. Dire even stand on top of this tier one mid. TB illusion is there, but no real TB as Eternal Envy. Fully jump game, but still, you want some mobility. Travel for the next. Young 11 going in. Like duel and onto the invoker. The snowball save. DJ keeps the invoker alive for now. Can they get him out of danger though with the blinding light? Because we get to even deeper danger. No, they can't. Ah, it's dead. Tyler died too far with the grave. Goes to the TP. Ah, uh, there's a stun. The astral yeah, will dead. stop him as he will fall to the final tick of damage at Paparazzi. It's funny, like, spray. funny how the two of them stick around, but Paparazzi is like, he's dead, you nerds. Attempt kill, and they're gonna get it. Attempt? Attempt? DJ and Universe don't attempt. They don't try, they only do. Yeah. Do or do not, there is no try. Precisely, I'm glad you got the, the, the mini rep, the reference. <laughs> the already this smoke is sort of obvious. They're already cautious about mid, but they're gonna go in. My guy is really in the middle of the Korea. Some strike will not oh, connect. Lana and pushed away in DJ. He will get ripped apart. Ori popped the ulti for this as Fnatic now looks disengaged. TP out. Highlight die, he's gone. And Young Eleven missing out on some sweet, sweet dual damage. He decided not to go for the Tusk because he was already dead, but I don't know. Should maybe have tried to get there for that dual win. And Jay at it. Sunstrike harassing a little bit. Not gonna connect cleanly on the but in Legion. Comes, you know, region rune. Lincoln Shadowblade on this tiny. They don't have sentries in or ni like on the pit. They've got one further towards the east. That's true. Could be a good time for sneaking in. The range of that is a ton of space oh. here. The double man avatars, the meat ball landing in as well. Oh, it doesn't connect onto the OD. Unfortunately for the invoker there, that could have been huge. And they have good regeneration as well with this Presti attack spam thing around. And they even have the stolen Alacrity EE. Stolen wall rush. Paparazzi. Ice wall is dropped by Ahmed. Roshan falls. Aegis is in the hands of Eternal Envy. The snowball goes in onto Fenrir. Paparazzi dropping low. He needs to save himself, but he has no astral left. He's dead. Fenrir chased down by DJ, but it's the bigger kills onto the eastern side. Lana and we're gonna go down as well. Sure. He's not done yet. The courier. Like the courier, the final victim. Yeah. That was the first dual win, at least, for the Legion Commander, but oh, that went so wrong for them. They... Where are the, oh, the smoke is actually timing out, so they won't get 
tell by the smoke uh, breaking on Pile I Die here. He's a little bit fortunate there, because else they would have owed, but they see. his head out? No, it's the cold one. Oh, right. I was at first confused as well. I'm like, how did they? But, how uh, did they know? Yeah, of course. Caudal Axe. And this is the power of the daytime, right? But again, dual damage miss. And these guys... Ah. Well, DP has the BKB with a plate mail, so you've alleviated some of the physical damage worries you have. But I'm looking at now the OD has the blink and the pike, so you're able to jump in, force maybe a TB or an invoker back, him. get the additional damage as Jake. Young Gonna hold him in place. Probably not a dual win, but at least holding in place so there's team can come combo on the back of that. DJ, can you get a snowball off here? No, not quite. The silence lasts long enough. Level four and fast being blinked and dueled with the blade mail from this. So you can they force the grave out onto the tiny. He's out of there. The duel didn't last long enough, but Ori's BKB allows him to go in with the silence onto the dazzle. Focus that down, but Terra Blade cut off from the rest of this fight. They need to be able to get in with the damage and every blast will land the meatball will. There's a toss into the Yule. DP keeps herself alive now. Turn back onto the Levy. The reflection comes out. He's still got Sunder, remember. Has that big ulti to throw in on the land until the silence arrives. That turn Levy can't get it off, he's gonna die! VG wow. Gaming now trapping in universe. This is a sick fight for them. Ori survived through it all, but the shrine popped will keep himself up as DJ's Tusk, the, the last sole survivor remaining and hero. the courier of the dire. It gets out safe as well. Wow, that was Man, this is gonna be tight. It is gonna be a sick Man. fight coming in here, probably. The weave is precast. They saw the weave being used. Roshan alive, Charles scouts and cancels out Young Eleven. Blink potentially. Fall down, Avalanche toss, no, just the wow. toss. Young Eleven's in, but four staff out. Snowball forward and the sun strike down. Young Eleven's gonna take it straight in the face. Executed. Now, Return Lemby is letting it rip us. Apparatus is trapped inside the shots. Has a hurricane bike and a blink dagger as well. Jumps up to the high ground with the Shivers guard. Back on the DJ, but the tornado. Nice play from Abed. Will hold them at bay for now, but Fnatic. Happy with what they've got, losing two supports for a Legion and a Rubik, forcing Exorcism, and Roshan still alive. Fnatic are like, hands off. And it was also a very cleanly executed kill onto the Legion commander. Blinks in, tosses him back. It was a Tornado. They have EMP. So close. Roshan slow. 500 HP Roshan. Oh god. Oh, the EMP will come out. Stolen away is a toss um. onto Rubik, but Roshan will go to the side of VG Gaming here. She's on the deck, but VG moves forward, looking to play aggressively into the arms of the Terra Blade, though, and oh god, Paparazzi, what have you done? Four staffs, but dies. Now, Aegis gone. What a waste. What a waste. Already down, and the cheese is gonna be remembered. Fenrir picks it up. I think they were going like, wait, who took the cheese? Oh, I don't know. Finally, he runs back and takes it after the fight. Yeah, Aegis is out. Much more to say than uh, Fnatic were perhaps 10 seconds. Right clicks pretty much is what they have to offer. Oh, hello, yep. DJ. And you're going to get jumped. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, blink away. Turn Lemby reflection back onto their Fnatic. They're setting up. They want to try and fight this. And Tornado oh. is sick. No. Landing on the two. They've got the combo. No, the silence comes out. Abed cannot launch out any more spells. They'll jump in for the shards. So they're trapping in Young Eleven. The exit is popped by Ori. But in jumps Abed with the ice wall. Then the BKB for Ori comes out. But the Tornado stands his ground. He is big in charge. And Abed's Yule will save him from the Sanity Clips. He needs to get out of this with another silence of the grave. They'll snowball forward. Aggressively moving in onto the OD. Oh, the fourth step back and forth. And down goes the Lanham Rubik. But uh, Tornado Lemmy taking the right click. From the Hurricane Pike of Paparazzi, this fight. Everyone's it's getting alive so far. Pilot Eye going to be the first to fall. Dies. The Grave was coming off cooldown, but he will fall. Ice Wall again in. No BKBs for Vici Gaming, though. They have to be careful with how they play around the Invoker. Ori moves forward, healing up back up to almost full, and DJ will take a fall. Meatball from Arbed in onto Ori, but it's not enough damage. He's going to have to blink himself away from this. Holy crap, when the action er erupts, it really just goes, you know, like this is. Again, reminiscent of the previous game. These fights are not slow and quick over, it's just con con continu continuous carnage going on. In the end, though, not too many kills. I wonder if he's gonna. Oh, that is an X to the X. Into the duel. That is death. Oh, beautiful. He, he gets his second duel win. First duel win was on level 1 duel, and second duel win is on level 3 duel. Kind of sets the. You know. Oh, and he's still full of exorcism. And DP has the off-green course, they pop their ulti aggressively from while I die. Oh, they're going. To deter them, but yeah, they are. Doing good damage here. 
They can recall the ODM, they, they do exactly that. They bring Paparazzi forward and uh, turn our uh, universe. He's gone in to try and play aggressively. Ori with the BKB needs to spirit siphon back some of this HP. Very low, very low. Ori needs to be so careful. Yeah. Oh, back up oh. the punch. Oh, he kicks him away somehow. I don't know. Full staff or what happened there? It was a full staff with the punch making it look like a kick. Oh, oh. they blocked the sun strike. It wouldn't have landed anyway, but nice play by Vici Game. And yeah. now it turns dead for mind. 80 seconds. Very good. And they have the continuous heal here going on from the Caudal. Look at this. The Frank Bruce. Oh, the Cast Course alone. Universe, what have you done? Jumps in, tosses the Carti towards the racks, but now Brave into Yules. He's going to die to this for sure. And the Sandy's a clip from Vici Gaming. Forced the buyback. Silence on Team Invoker. From Tiny Invoker. Where's Abed Hexed up in the back end of the fight? To have defended for now with three man Avalanche onto the top. Where's the reflection with the ice wall? They do have some good slows here, but Vici Gaming standing strong. I wish that Fenrir would spam even more with this Q. He sometimes holds it and doesn't use it. But they need HP so badly. They've got the big heal He's getting it there. Right? Yep. Tons of HP coming back on. And they've got the spam out from both Chakra Magic and Essence Aura. They've got this mana HP Exactly. It, it's the veins. infinite potential, right? You can continue forever as long as it's daytime and you have that high ground vision as well with the photo act. Let's go make something happen. The recalls now allowing them to split push and return to fight. But Abed will make an escape. Oh, they get the duel. duel. The Lincolns get popped. And Abed, oh, this is troublesome for Fnatic. Dead for a minute and a half. They've jumped in to try and save him as well. Tusk is gone. He gets this stunned is, by the lift. This is super dangerous. He gets stunned by the lift dropping down again on the Tusk. So he dies as well. Oh boy. That is over one minute of both of them being dead. And they're going down the mid lane. Yeah, three. Second one to claim here. Vichy Gaming, like you said, just popped the ulti, head up high ground. And Fnatic, Eternal Envy, double damage rune, Terror Blade. Unable to really move forward and do anything about this, but he might have to. Pops out for the matter as well. He's got a ton of illusions, but look at this. They've just got infinite heal, infinite mana, infinite HP. They and do the not care. Don't They've do anything when you just the blinding light them, push them back. And now the hex comes in with a duel as well. This might be the end of the road for Fnatic as Vichy Gaming clear up the oh. core heroes of Fnatic. The that Malaysian squad are done. That is it. They could not even grave him and wouldn't even have mattered. It's too late at this point. Gotta give him the person treatments. There you go. You're dead. Actually, he healed enough. enough. No, he didn't. Almost. Vici Gaming looking to go through to play against VGJ Thunder. Yeah. Uh, GG has been called. Eternal Envy taps out. And the Chinese squad has defeated, removed the Malaysian squad from Sol one Genting. A really good performance today from both the Vici Gaming squads. And, you know, Fnatic, they tried as they could. In the first game, they did 